their defense and you cannot not you cannot simply mess around with the basketball what, what's inter interesting is uh, Rainer Shine already with five turnovers while uh, BMEG has nothing when in fact when you look at the, the season statistics the elastopators they're number one at taking care of the basketball while BMEG one of the worst at taking care of it there's a tall front line on the floor for Derby Ace, but they can't knock in the volleys so to speak if we're like tennis those short stabs at the net the graphics crew and our truck very alert iba talaga pag second game kasi nakakain na foul of the effort of Mercado to break loose Roger with his first foul. 19 to 9 is the current score with 2.32 remaining. It's time for a break. It's time for Solar TV to take over. Ayan po ang ating mga kababayan dito sa Pasay City. Kasama niyo silang nag-enjoy ng ating laro. And you can get a chance to watch your favorite PBA players live. Just text in Solar. Space, BBA space, and you've got your mystery keyword for this stretch and send it to 2600 for a chance to win tickets to the games. Who knows? You may be texting, they may be texting exactly what we're talking about right now. And our director, Francis Ophelia, is in a good mood as of the moment, yelling at the cameraman to find pretty faces. That's a joyful job, don't you think? Magagalita mo mga tao, magkalap kayo ng maganda. <laughs> Mas masarap na ikaw yung naghahanap. Ah, oh. ah, walang, walang kweta yung director. Tiga-buton <laughs> tiga lang sila ng, ng TV. Eh, no? Ito, hindi tumatama ang buton na Rain or Shine, uh, Jason. Is it, is it the defense? The shots are really awkward for Rain or Shine here. Well, obviously, BMAG is a very good defensive team and um, Raiders side tinkered with his offense or with its unit a little bit. They started off with a different starting unit without Norwood and without J.R. Reyes and that starting five really didn't uh, score very well. I believe they were outscored 5 to 12 you know, first unit against first unit by BMAG. And now they're really trying their luck from afar and Jeff Chan drills in the three to bring his team within seven. Coming down to the final minute and 45 of the opening period. Haynes is the official underwear of the PBA. Fingers. Tanyaleta with Chan all over him. And there's arm contact on Jeff Chan. That will be the 13th foul of Rain or Shine. Yeah, both teams doing a good job of staying away from fouls, yet playing good defense. Change of pace, <laughs> change of dribble, <laughs> improvise. Offense by accident. <laughs> but, but, you know, I know. Well, you know, he was going to go to his money shot, which was a back shot, but then there was height right beside him, so you have to improvise. Good point. And that is where those all those childhood games that you would bring the basketball out to the court, and you would be the announcer as well. Right? <laughs> Well, and um, yung mga patirang papektos, you know, things that you th you wouldn't think that you would actually take. Ah, but eventually, ah. when you have to put that put that uh, magical uh, cat out of the bag, eh, lumalabas din. Turns around, mga ganun eh, na, <laughs> tapos bigla na lang, sorry na sumusut eh, na. In the meantime, everybody from Derby Ace has been hitting the target, and they're ahead 23 to 12. It's such a treacherous journey to go to the basket for rain or shine. There are gauntlets almost at every turn. Let's see how this call goes. Panyoleta with his first. Just so much length, Seb. When you look at the lineup on the floor for BMEG Derby A's at the moment, you have Roger Yap, which is a big guard to begin with. 
Then after that, your off guard is KG Canaleta, who's minimum 6'3", and all the way down the order, so much length all the way to their import. Although they might not be big in terms of weight, but the athleticism and size really goes pointing the favor of the Derby A's. This could actually be a high jump or a ball vault uh, track and field team. The shot released with two on the shot clock, and Jeff Chan nails in another shot. He has five in this first quarter. Final shot time coming up for Derby Ace. Aranya trying to keep in step, almost had a piece of it. And there's a foul with fouls to spare for Rainer Schein. And that's the way to give up the foul. You're still going for the steal. You're not really just laying yourself out there, trying to get the basketball. But if the referee calls it, it's okay because the opponent was attacking the basket. Larry Garcia with his running conversation with the officials. Anytime the referee comes close, and only the coach finds it an opportune time to say something. <laughs> Tapos po ang ating first quarter. Tatawa si Cliff Brown doon sa nangyari na. 23-14 as the Derby Ace Diamados surge ahead. Second quarter awaits here. Layo na nung pinuntahan natin. Second quarter, sabi nung ating announcer. Naupisa lang natin at 23-14. Maagang pagsulong at pag-charge ng Derby Ace. At sila'y lamang 23-14. Merong uh, slick portion to sa side na yun. Titingnan natin kung uh, mariremedyohan yan habang umaandar ang laro. Laro, may biro nga rito. Lalagyan na lang ng tabu doon sa katok. Eh. And uh, it looks like Leah has a report. We'll get try to get to her when she's ready and her audio is on. The main time, crossover, Aranya. Leah, you ready? Let's go to you. Well, Seb, I came down from the ceiling already, as you can see, I'm back on the court. Now, there's a small leak. It's, it's not that big, but the ceiling is old, so it's actually leaking, and they just put styrofoam to catch the water that's dripping. Thank you. Well, at least the game gets to proceed, Leah. Thank you very much for going upstairs and climbing down just as quickly. How many people are here? I, you know, I personally, I'm afraid of heights, so I would never go up there. Pero si Leah, ang tapang. Ang tapang. Tinignan niya yung tao doon sa taas at tinanong niya kung ano ginagawa. <laughs> nice pass. Excellently done. And this has been the trend of the game, Jason. And last couple of possessions, poor transition defense, bad bad locating. Um, uh, rather, Rainershine doing a bad job of locating their man after um, uh, secondary and primary breaks by uh, b -Meg. Derby Ace trying to stretch its winning ways to three straight games. They've won the last two. That's traveling against Cagnoletta. Couple of things right now for Rainer Shines. Gabe Norwood still scored this. Only one attempt. Jai Lewis, who started this game, hasn't been on the bench, hasn't even taken a single attempt. That's, I find that odd, no? Parang uh, two, second quarter na, no? And, and you know it's really tough for a team like Rain or Shine, which we, we have to say is at best middle of the pack talent wise and on a 12 man rotation basis. They really need their import to come up big to really push them over the brink. Let's see how they uh, answer that question here in the second quarter. Saranya hits the bullseye with a triple. You know, Rain or Shine has won, in fact, last three of their last four. They've done really decently in their last couple of games. They're currently at 7 6. As you mentioned, in the middle of the pack, it's a 10-point game with time going below 10 minutes. Look at that lean-in shot. As you said, his favorite, but it didn't go in this time. 9.39 to play here on the second. That's a blocking foul. Earlier today, we had Alaska. Uh, winning against uh, Air 21, 98 to 94. Cyrus Mago exploding with 22 points. Does Miko and Halili have any plans of coming back, really? I believe he's on I don't, his way I'm back. not complaining, but it's just that <laughs> he's beginning to enjoy himself. Tim Cohn watching the action. I understand he has to do something also aside from uh, completing his. Uh, duties as argument for the NBA uh, coverage. Uh, I, be I believe he's on a, on, a, on a flight to LA at the moment to get back here. Um, Coach Tim Cohn uh, watching this game because 
Alaska, a lot of interest in, in this game as well because these are the two teams that would most likely be, or at least has that opportunity to be a part of that quarterfinals. And they are the next opponent of Rain or Shine. And Which is a huge game. Yep. Huge game because... Given where everybody is. Yes, you know? be because uh, Rain or Shine has six losses, although it has three left.